And here we have our automatic waste disposal system. This is the most visible part. We have the waste collection system and the drive motor, but the real magic is happening underneath the placement machines, where we have a series of channels with a conveyor belt in with brushes that collect tape waste that falls through chutes that you can see here, the tape waste being cut from the feeders on the changeover tables. But the real advantage of the waste disposal system is how it collates all the waste into one place. One of the key factors to consider is that the waste on the machines is typically generated mostly by the kind of head that is using the largest components with the largest tape. Now that's typically a CPP head in the high position. So we did some calculations based on a lot of collected data and we found that when one machine with the CPP head fills up that table, the twin head on the other side is at around 40%, but all those CP20 P2 heads are all at only 7%. Now if we add all these percentages together, it comes to a little under 200. And if we think that each table is 100% and we have eight tables, 800, 200 out of 800 is about one quarter. So we're only using a quarter of the capacity of the line for waste. The waste disposal system takes all of that waste and puts it in one place. And this bin is three times the size of all those tables combined. So this means that operators are visiting the line one third of the frequency as they would if they had to come and empty the tables individually. And that's not the only thing, because when the operator comes to the line and they have to empty every table for a four machine line like this, they're gonna to have to do this eight times. And they'll be bending down, taking the table out, standing up, putting it in a bin, then sliding it back in again. So it's a, it's a very manual operation, it's repetitive, and it takes time. By comparison, simply taking the bin and either exchanging it for an empty one or taking a bag out and putting a new bag in is much quicker. And while the table waste bin is out, waste from the feeders is falling on the floor. So there needs to be a regular maintenance program to clean that stuff up. So in summary, when we're talking about return on investment on something like this, if we use operator wages, and you can use your operator costs, we can say that an operator will visit the line one third as often, and when they get there, they're gonna spend maybe a quarter of the time or less. So we believe that will give a very favorable return on investment for this kind of automation.